Greetings, friends. Uh, it's me, uh, Esword101. This video is going to be on um, Esword version 10.0.5. Uh, how to create an EPUB file uh, using some different programs in Esword. So, you got the men's breakfast at, say, a bookstore. You all want to sit around sip coffee and study Romans on your e-readers. Uh, they're becoming pretty popular and EPUB uh, is a pretty popular format and is accepted by most e-readers. Uh, the Nook and, and uh, some others. So this is how you would do that. The PDF file is fine. Uh, you can download a print to PDF driver since eSword 10.0.5 has seemingly I believe taking uh, taken out the export to PDF and export to HTML from the program uh, I really wish they would have left that in but it, it might come back who knows so so that's what I did so I went down and I downloaded a print to PDF driver so that you will be able to print to PDF and then there's going to be a program that you would use called Calibre which is a uh, program that manages ebooks and also does conversions so if you had something in a public domain and you wanted it converted from say a PDF file to a EPUB file or many different f files for the many different e-readers uh, you can do that from almost any file format, including HTML and Word. So, you got the men's breakfast. We all want to sip coffee and uh, study Romans 10. So, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, first, you would select the text that you want to do, or print preview. So, we're going to go to print. In the commentary here, this is the uh, uh, New Testament uh, commentary, college press New Testament commentary. And... So here, you you know, you got a couple of pages. Wow, that's a pretty big study. 29 pages. But it, it would make for a good book. EPUB file. So this could be a sermon. This could be anything. You could do this out of topical files, whatever. But for, for uh, the sake of this uh, demonstration, we'll just do it out of the commentary section. Uh, so we're going to print preview. I'm going to hit this. So then I got my driver here. I select my print driver. Here's my uh, print to PDF. I'm not going to print that. And it should go to my desktop. Yes, it'll be eSword PDF on my desktop. Okay. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So then uh, it'll print, and it comes up quite quickly already in the Adobe Reader. So there you go. Now, you can um, send this uh, out to be read on e-readers, because a lot of e-readers will read PDF files. PDF files are larger than e EPUB files. So stuff will get bulky, make stuff run slow. So save space. We're going to close out of this. And we're going to open up the Calibre library. And then we're going to add that book. So here's the library here. We're going to add. And then you go to you know your desktop. You find the file, eSword PDF. It's not all that large, it's only 248 KB. You open that up, it'll add. It should show right up here. Computers run a little slow. So here here it is. Then, you go to the option Convert Books. You click that. And here you have a bunch of different things. Uh, file format that you want to convert to. So here, here's a slew of them. Uh, you can go to plain text, whatever. Output formats. Then you have a whole bunch of options here. You can even set up table of contents. A whole bunch of different things. Uh, tells you your input and output, 
all kinds of different things. So uh, you can also select page setup. So we'll go there. You know, you can even select what e-reader it's going to. You know, there's Kobo Reader, Kindle. Uh, I selected the Nook Color just for the sake of doing it. Uh, you can choose to put in a table of contents if you'd like. Structure. So a whole bunch of different things. So this will automatically produce some kind of cover. It will be the cover of your first page. It's something they still have to work on. So if you want to put a cover on it, uh, you would select an image for the cover. Uh, you can fill in the title. You can fill in the author. All, all kinds of things. So then you're going to hit OK, and this will convert. So right here it says start the conversion of one book. And then it'll run its process. And we can see it here. It takes some time to go through everything. I think we had a bunch of pages. There it is. So what it will do is add it into the library automatically, PDF, and EPUB. Then you can click to open the path if you want to go find it. So we click to open the path. There's a cover that is self-generated. There's your EPUB file and your PDF file. So we'll go back down here. Say, well, 101. I want to see what it looks like. So you double-click it. And the EPUB will come up. So see, here's a self-generated uh, cover. Looks kind of ugly. So you'd want to put in a generic cover of some sort. They still need to work on that. But you click here, next page, and it'll go to the next page. And there it is. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, they can use this on their e readers. Uh, the file size, they can highlight, uh, do a, uh, a number of things, you know, look up in the dictionary, all kinds of stuff. And also, they can select words to look up online if it's on their e readers. So this makes it kind of nice because what you could do with this is you could. Uh, post this EPUB file on your church uh, website and people could carry it around with them to their men's breakfast or women's quilting uh, convention uh, while they're reading and studying Romans. What a better way uh, to do all that stuff. So, uh, there you have it. Also, uh, what you could do is copy copy something out of eSword, go to your favorite um, word processor, this is open office, paste, paste it in, there it is, then you can export it out as a PDF or a HTML, import it as we did into Calibre, and then do the conversion also. So uh, either way, you can get it done. So then you say, well, uh, you can remove and add books. So this will be removed. Uh, I'll remove this. So but you don't need to see that. So uh, take care. Hopefully uh, you learned something. Be well and uh, happy researching.